Am I counting up? Yep. All right. There's a view of Jason you already, again. You already Jason. started recording. I want. I totally wanted to do the cooking show thing. Oh. Which shows me cutting, <laughs> and then we have the ah. first one right next to yep. it. <laughs> so here's our two barrels. Um, now we had two barrels on site, and we can get cheap barrels from a wine company that have the removable lids that use a ring like this. This removable lid ring. Just use a bolt in here clamps those lids on uh, and those are great for one barrel systems and they can be used they can be you can always this is always custom work you can rig up a better way to seal them but these bung top barrels these are bungs uh, the bung top barrels are seat welded or crimped something on top and bottom the nice thing about them is they have this really uh, thin and short uh, lip, whereas the um, the removable lid barrels have a much fatter and deeper uh, fold over, so it's very hard to put two together like we're going to do. We're going to stack two of them, and to stack them, these work a lot better, and I can use this type of ring to clamp them together with gasket material. So we're cutting the lid off, and uh, Jason's going to start that, and this is the one he's already cut. This is the lid that came off of it. The other nice thing about these is for some reason you needed to weld the lid back in place. On a bung top barrel, if you see here where I started, if you angle grind straight down on the lip like this, you can take the lid off, put copper pipe, do all, whatever you want to do. But if, and if you want to put like, um, you can put, uh, what do they call those? Uh, the I'm trying to think of the name of the fitting the bulkhead if you want to put bulkhead fittings for piping whatever for water storage um, and you want it to hold pressure you can slice the whole lid off like this and then it just pops out and then you can put it back on and re-weld it so they work really good for that too but anyway jason's going to start cutting barrel number two